Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here, and it's time for another beer review. Time for another Virgin beer review from beers I picked up on my mini moon. Do me a favour if you just found us here on the Hop House. Go on, give us that thumbs up. You know you wanna. Yes. Give us a like, share, subscribe to this channel. Hoppy beer, good house music. Got some sort of funky sort of disco-y house tunes playing in the background whilst we run through some beers. Should we go for it? Let's do it. Okay, so next up, these are beers I picked up uh, from the Cotswolds whilst I was on my mini honeymoon. Uh, and this is from Donington Brewery. There you go. Never heard of this brewery before. Never had anything from them. Uh, Donington Brewery, just outside of Stowe on the Wold, if anyone's interested. And we actually passed a sign for the brewery. This I picked up in um, Morton in Marsh. There was a little, little um, beer shop there. Mainly did Belgian beers, but they did a couple of bottled uh, real ales. And I thought, <laughs> while in Rome, or while in Morton, uh, so I wanted to pick up a couple of the local beers to review. So there you go. Cotswold Gold, it's called. If the camera will pick it up, it's 4% ABV. 500 milliliter bottle. Uh, and I did want to, um, I did want to try this beer and something from this brewery, just because I live in Telford in Shropshire now, and there's an area of Telford called Donington. So the fact that it's a Donington brewery, there's like an inside joke there if you're from Telford. Should we get it all into the glass? Uh, so yeah, the uh, the last one I had the battlefield was quite nice. Uh, oh, I've got my uh, my London bottle opener as well because I went to London after that because someone got us a see the previous video. I'll tell you all about it. I don't want to waffle on too much in this because the, uh, the video prior to this, the review prior to this, went on for ages. Ooh, nice bit of CO two release on that bottle. Uh, the previous video, by the way, was that it was Battlefield Pale Ale. Go check it out. Right, got the Hobgoblin glass out for this because. Hobgoblin, Witchwood Brewery, they're in Whitney, the other side of the Cotswolds, so I thought, eh, yeah, why not? Right, beer then, out in the gold. Cotswold gold, so you'd sort of expect it to be golden, wouldn't you? And that's exactly how she is pouring. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. She's a lively bugger. Wow, look at that. Look at the carbonation on that. Crikey, I'm going to have to take another sip out of here. I'm only getting ahead. Ooh, uh. The only reason I'm doing this, I'm trying to get the whole bottle out, see if it's um, bottle conditioned. Nope, no floaty bits in there, but some great carbonation on it, I have to say. Look at it. Light golden. It's fizzing like a good one. That's like a blooming pint of lager or a cider or something, that is. That has got some fantastic fizz to it, if that's your bag. And yeah, 500ml bottle, so uh, I'm guessing you kind of guessed that, the fact that it's fitting into a pint glass. But I can't remember if I mentioned it a minute ago, so on the video. So that is Donington Brewery, Cotswold Gold. Just outside of Stowe in the Wold. Gold from Stowe in the Wold. Should we smell it and see how it will unfold? Can't think of another rhyme now. I had a couple. It went okay for a minute or so. Right, so yeah, this is the Cotswold Gold then. It looks... Um, Quite good, I'm gonna lie. Right, we'll get the nose in there, then it's time to give it a whiff and see what we can sniff. It can smell like a, it just smell like a lager malt behind it, maybe oh, it's maybe it's got like a sour hop in it or something. Quite limey, lemony. It smells, quite, it smells like it's gonna be rather quaffable and refreshing, put it that way. And some of the gold nails do replicate, I suppose it's a step up into real ales from like lager drinkers. I've got a little bit of maybe traditional hop kind of, a bit of pepper and a bit of 
tangy marmalade type smell to it. I think that's more traditionally hot than American hot. But then it's brewed in the middle of the Cotswolds, it's brewed in the middle of Gloucestershire or Worcestershire or Oxford, I don't know. They, but they sort of border on each other, don't they? Counties and that, don't they? It smells nice. It smells like it's going to be really quite refreshing and um, it's, it's still carbonating quite highly. Maybe it's this glass, I think this glass, compared to the purity glass that I used on the previous review, this holds head really well. Right, that's bottoms up and down the hatch, we're getting there, so. Show them everybody. Ooh. Ooh, that's quite, it's got a really nice body to it, it's quite thick and creamy actually. Let's celebrate indeed. Go on, Roland Clark. Ooh, that is nice. That is really, really nice. Really nice. I could drink a lot of that. We did the battle down before. This is almost like a step up from the battle down. That's a lovely beer, that is, I have to say. But I'll do a bit of a laser vision for the lacing fans out there. And then we'll run through some flavours, shall we? So a bit of laser vision. Look at that lace in the glass. Look at it. Look at it. Wow, it's chasing the head. That's almost cask-esque. To say it's not a bottle conditioned beer as well. Oh, and it's bringing all the flavours now. Now I've jigged it, jig and whiff, jig and re whiff. Oh yeah, it's again definitely traditionally hopped, more peaty, more earthy, more hedgerow sort of. Definitely some. I'd say there was like some. I don't know about fuggles. It might be a bit light for fuggles. Excuse me, but maybe some Styrian Goldings in there. Or some challenger. Might be fumbles. Right, okay, so it builds on what the previous beer was, the, the, the battle down. But it's just it's just nicer, it just feels like it's a bit better quality. Nothing against the previous beer, just Down the side of the tongue, tiny little bit limey, citrus, but it's got that traditional sort of hot feel to it. Um, some malt, biscuit malt down the middle of the tongue because you can taste it. And it's all, it gathers towards the back of your mouth as, as one flavour. And then it sort of just dries off and leaves you with a little bit aftertaste, tangy aftertaste. Only, only a tad bit tangy. Had a bit, it's sweet tangy though. Well, so that's a really odd description, sweet tangy. Um, but I can certainly pick out some British hops in that. It smells like old school beer, should be. I'm really, oh, look at that, look at that lace, look at it. It is almost like having a pint of beer in your local. Great. Mmm. Lots of nice flavours going on that. It's, it's, it's a flavoursome beer. Definitely more traditional. Right, I've got some bump on the back, so I'll read it to you. So it gives you the units, please do it responsibly. Right, so um Donington Brewery. Got a picture of a swan on it as well, as it does on the front. So it says the fairies brewery in all the land. Traditionally brewed in the idyllic setting in the heart of the Cotswolds. Uh, we use nice otter malted barley and three varieties of hops. Goldings are placed into the copper, while Cascade and Styrian Goldings are placed in the hop back. These combined with spring water drawn from beside the mill pond are pumped by the water wheel. Wow, 
which dates back to 1291. It's a golden coloured beer with a citrus flavour followed by a rounded malt finish. So there you go, you've got Goldings, Cascade and Styrian Goldings hops. Uh, Cotswold Spring Water and Malted Morris Otter Barley, Winter Barley. Cotswold Gold. Okay, so I'll put it out there, not getting the Cascade. Maybe the tiny little bit of lemony limey down the side of the tongue, but that is not, it's not bitter in terms of New World hot bitter. It's not hoppy and bitter in that sense at all. Not one bit. I'm getting the earthy peaty smell probably from the Goldings and the Stirring Goldings. Not picking up the cascade at all. But saying that, I was expecting it to be traditionally hot. I was expecting both of them to be, and they kind of are. And that's cool, you know, because at the end of the day, the amount of IPAs and New England IPAs and things like that, that I review on this channel, sometimes I think I'm boring with bloody self. So it's really nice to have a traditional golden beer. Just a good solid, you know. I should imagine that that. I mean, I don't think that's far off, because the quality of that is bloody lovely. That is a lovely, lovely drink. But I can imagine that out of a hand pulled and cask. And the, the funny thing is, we actually drove through Donington um, on our way to Stone the Wall. So I don't think Donington Brewery is actually in the little, it's like a little hamlet village, Donington. Um, say the address on it. Donington Brewery, Upper Swell, Stow on the Wall. So yes, she was on the way to Stow on the Wall. I think there was some roadworks and the sat nav diverted us and went through Donington. And I took a photo, because we've got a Donington in Wellington, in, in, in Telford, sorry. So, if I'd, if, if I'd have convinced the other half to go there, she wouldn't have been happy. Um, but yeah, that is a lovely, lovely beer. Really nice sometimes to have something much more traditional instead of something that really blows your tongue off and dries your mouth out so Donington Brewery Bravo lovely beer okay what will I rate it now I'm not a brewer I don't work in the industry I don't brew me on beer this is all opinion based definitely gets a thumbs up now I think it deserves a bit more than that just because it's quite it's a really good style of maybe a beer that I, I, I'd have loved this when I first got into real L's what eight nine years ago I would have been all over this like a rash so I'm gonna give it a thumb and a half I can't give it two thumbs up purely because for one I can't get it locally and two, it's good, but it's not up there with the echelon of, wow, that blows my mind. But I've really enjoyed drinking that. Maybe the Battlefield first helped it, I don't know, but it gets a thumb and a half from me. And I have to say, Donington Brewery, that's a really good score from my random scoring. So thank you very much for watching. Go check them out. Have they got the website on there? I'll give you the website before I go. Yeah, Donington Brewery, Donington, there it is, there's it's spelled Donington with a hyphen, so www.donnington-brewery.com, go check them out, that's their Cotswold Gold, thumb and a half from me, like, share, subscribe, we'll see you again for another beer review right here on the Hop House, ciao for now people.